Hello student, I am Anusmita Bora from Onus classes. This is my third video on photosynthesis in higher plant. Uh, in my last video, I have told that in this my video, I will explain the dog reaction. But as this chemiosmotic hypothesis topic is left in last video, that's why today I'm going to explain this one because this is one of the important video of light reaction. Then in my next video, I'm going to explain dark reaction. So uh, chemiosmotic is one of the important part of light reaction. And this picture is given in your NCRT book. So after, uh, so uh, now today I'm going to explain this uh, chemiosmotic uh, hypothesis in a very simple way. After then you go through this diagram, then you can easily understand uh, what is everything in the NCRT book. So first, let me explain what is uh, chemiosmotic hypothesis in a simple way. The diagram of chemiosmotic hypothesis. So what is chemiosmotic hypothesis? This is the hypothesis which helps us to understand the process of ATP synthesis in chloroplast. We know that chloro means ATP are synthesized both in chloroplast and uh, mitochondria. And this hypothesis means chemiosmotic hypothesis helps us to understand how this ATP is formed in mitochondria. So for chemiosmotic hypothesis, it requires a membrane. This is the membrane. This, this color, the red color line is membrane. This membrane of, this is the membrane of thylakoid. Then it requires a proton pump. This is the proton pump. This green structure plus this pink structure. This is CF0 and CF1. When these two combine, these two components combine, they form a structure that is known as a proton pump. Then proton gradient. Proton gradient means the difference between the con uh, concentration of proton means the difference between the concentration of proton suppose here in lumen portion the concentration of proton is high whereas in stroma position this is stroma position here a concentration of proton is low so this difference is called proton gradient and ATPase enzyme this is ATPase enzyme which help in the synthesis of protein so chemiosynthesis hypothesis require all these four now come to the process uh, already we have uh, discussed that in non-cyclic photophosphorylation when the reaction center that is P6AT means chlorophyll of photosystem 2 absorb light energy it become excited and as a result it release a pair of electron which are accepted by primary electron acceptor. Then from this primary electron acceptor, the energy is passes to one electron carrier that is called plastoquinon. PQ means plastoquinon. Already we have discussed in our last video. Then from PQ, this electron is passes to cytochrome complex CYB6F. I have written here. Then from this carrier to it is passes to PC mean plastocyanin and finally from PC this electron is go to the photosystem 1 means P700. Here the reaction center is P700. So the electron who is released from photosystem 2 it never comes back. So to, uh, there will be a deficiency of a electron. So to uh, means to fill up the deficiency here the splitting of water takes place and who is uh, who, and here in the inner membrane this is the membrane of thylakoid i have already told you this is the outer membrane this is the inner membrane so in the inner membrane of the thylakoid there is a water splitting complex who is help to split the water or who is takes place the photolysis process photolysis process means splitting of water so by splitting the water hydrogen plus oxygen plus electrons are released and the electron which are released from photolysis of water it is go into the photosystem to and to make up the deficiency then this hydro, uh, this oxygen is uh, released in the atmosphere and in the lumen of the uh, thylakoid lumen means the in the inner portion of the means this is inner membrane and this is the cavity cavity of the thylakoid is called lumen so this proton means H positive ion is remain in the lumen only this H positive or proton remain in the lumen then when this electron transport through this electron transport system then when this cytochrome complex accept the electron from plastoquinone and release to plastocyanin during that time it will get some energy also because we know that when electron 
flow in higher level to lower level it will release energy so this cytochrome complex that time by using this energy it absorb photon from this stroma position it in the, this is the stroma position means outside other outside of the thylakoid there is this portion is called stroma so in stroma there are uh, protons are there so by using this energy this cytochrome complex accept the proton from stroma and at the same time by using that energy it pump the proton to the lumen so in the lumen portion uh, proton are released from splitting of water and at the same time protons are uh, pumped from the stroma by the cytochrome complex so the concentration of proton become increased in the lumen portion and at the same time since proton are from stroma it is pumped to the lumen portion the concentration in the stroma position become decrease start decreasing so as a result due to the difference of the concentration of proton a proton gradient developed there and now then uh, proton gradient developed there and as a result a pressure or energy is also created there then due to the proton gradient this proton uh, means start moving from this high concentration to low concentration but since hydrogen is a ionic this is a ion, h positive is a ionic compound so this cell membrane cannot permit you to pass through it so it can pass from lumen to stroma with the help of some particular channel and this is this channel is called proton pump and <coughs> sorry which has two component one is called cf not component another is called cf1 component so since in C F not component which help in the uh, uh, diffusion of the proton, there no this they require no energy. So when this proton come to the C F one component by using that energy, ATPase enzyme means C F one was acting as a ATPase enzyme. So this ATPase enzyme by using the energy join inorganic phosphate and ADP and finally form. ATP and like ATP is uh, pro produced here. Next come for the photosystem one. After photos the reaction center of photosystem one get the energy from plastocyanin, it become excited and then it release the or transfer the electron to ferrodoxin. This is another electron carrier. From ferrodoxin, it is go to NAD NADP reduxes enzyme where it reduce the NADP into NADPH since it is a reduction reaction means reduction means what addition of hydrogen so this reaction need hydrogen this extra hydrogen it will get from here the hydrogen who is released from lumen to stroma that hydrogen will be used in the NADPH uh, used by the NADP reductase enzyme to reduce the NADP to NADPH. So this is the whole process of chemiosmotic hypothesis. So just what we have to remember in this hypothesis, first point you have to remember splitting of water takes place as a result oxygen, proton and electron is used, sorry produced, then electron is used up by the photosystem to, to replace the deficiency, then water is uh, released in the environment and the proton remain in the lumen portion. Then this uh, um, and when this uh, photosis reaction center of photosystem to absorb the light energy, it become excited and electron will tran transport in a downhill direction. And at that time, the cytochrome uh, complex uh, absorb the proton from stroma and it release in the lumen. So proton gradient there is a pro proton gradient takes place and as a result the proton move towards the stroma again through the throw a proton pump and this proton pump has two pro component one is called cf not another is called cf1 so this is the whole process of chemiosmotic so students now go through the main points of chemiosmotic hypothesis. So what is the first point? First point is that splitting of water molecule takes place in the inner side of the thylakoid membrane and as a result, the proton accumulation increase in lumen. Second point, electron transport from PS2 to PS1 through an electron transport system. 
Number three, cytochrome complex compound act as a both electron transporter and a proton acceptor. It accepts the proton from the stroma and pump to the lumen. Four, NADP reductase enzyme reduces NADP to NADP8. Five, as proton gradient is developed, proton moves to stroma from lumen to a particular channel having two part C0, CF0 and CF1. Next, six point, CF0 component is integrated in the membrane who is helped into facilitate diffusion of proton. And last point, CF1 in, in the stroma position act as an enzyme for ATP synthesis. So these are the main seven points you have to remember in the uh, chemiosmotic hypothesis. So the proton pump, this is the proton pump. So always remember in the proton pump, this is the upper part is called CF0 and this is embedded in the membrane of the thylakoid, whereas this is the lower portion is called CF1, which is worked as a ATP enzyme, and this is outside the means uh, membrane, it means it is in the stroma position. So if question come of three marks, suppose in both question may come of three marks that what is chemio chemiosmotic hypothesis, then you just draw the diagram and then you just write this point, then it will you will get marks. So uh, I think uh, you have no doubt. Still, if you have any doubt, you comment me then so that I in the next video I can means clear your doubt. So student, if you uh, like my video or you, if you think that this video is helpful for you, then please like it, share it, and subscribe it. And so, and in next my video, I'm going to explain dark reaction.